Could you tell us anything about Miles Garrett? No, I don't do that. That's the head coach. Uh, you know, we've watched your, your defense, you know, really be aggressive, swarming, batting down balls, you know, getting picks and everything in this mini camp. Can you just address? You know, um, <clears throat> the things that we do here, and I'm, real, I'm, I'm very, very proud of these young men. And I've walked into a lot more dysfunctional buildings than this. And uh, these young men have come here every day from April the 17th. And all they've wanted to do is compete, 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 and want somebody to tell them which direction to go. So those things that you see how fast they play, how hard they play, uh, those aren't easy. And why can't everybody do that? And maybe because other people say it's okay not to do that. That's not what we're about. And the effect of a defense is more than just tackling. It's more than just uh, getting in a good stance. There's lots of ways to be disruptive and batting passes down, pass breakups, interceptions, strips of the football, all those type of things, you know, adjust the timing of plays. And these guys have really picked it up. I will tell you this, there's, it's, it's a smart group of kids, or kids, <laughs> uh, young men. And uh, in fact, the offense got upset the other day because we batted one down the walkthrough. Well, don't, that's fine. I mean, that's just how it is. And it's been fun to see the energy between both sides of the ball. And it's been real fun for me to see the energy of the head coach. And, you know, I miss that. I, I, think that's, I think that's fun. And the guys see that and they feed off of it. Coach, we know it's so early, but has Miles been what you guys thought he would be? He's done a great job, you know, and, and it's still way early. And, and, but, you know, you, you guys are going to see a pretty good football player when he gets a chance to uh, get out there and go. But uh, I've got a big smile on my face, and I'll just wait and let him show everybody before I talk about it. Hey, hey Greg, um, when I was looking at the numbers with the Rams defense last year, mm -hmm. if I have this correct, I think you guys were ninth in overall defense, mm -hmm. yet gave up 32 touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Not good, and one of the things we did, I think we played either the, the first most number of plays in the league or the second most, and I thought really in, in, in all seriousness that we gave up a couple of plays, you know, long plays that we typically don't go. Uh, but when we look about that here, um, that's everywhere. That's, that's a part of this league, and uh, we have to do a better job of affecting that. And those young men played very hard. And to play as many plays as they played last year, uh, they, played, they, they played very hard. How much you mentioned about coming in here and players are really receptive to, to the message that you're you're preaching. How much of that has to do with the amount of youth that's here and the fact that they are young and, and impressionable and you're not dealing with a bunch of veterans that might be set in their way? I really don't care what a veteran thinks. I really don't care what a young guy thinks. I really don't care what you think. And that's part of the message. The message is I have to earn their respect. They have to earn my respect. And either you know what you're doing or you don't know what you're doing. Either you've been in the huddle or you haven't been in the huddle. And I do like the fact that it is young because you have a chance to have younger players longer time and keep them around longer because this is a tough profession. There's a reason that an average football player's career is only 3.2 years. It's a tough, it's a tough deal. So uh, the fact that these guys are really receptive, um, that's nice. But if they weren't, then they can go be for somebody else. I don't care about that. How much of a feel can you get in May and June for how good your defense is going to be in September, October? You know, the longer you've been around it, and, and, and I've said this even to scouts, to GMs, all this kind of stuff before, you can watch film all you want, but if you can't feel the film, you don't know the player. And until you get a chance to be on the field and really feel what the player is about, really be able to look him in the eyes and understand how he processes, uh, understands how he anticipates. We call that instinctive play. Um, lots of times that doesn't show up on film because you can't feel the film. And if you've watched film and you've never played, that's even more difficult. And uh, so when we're here after all these years, I have a really, really good feel of these guys. And really, once they put the pads on, I'll be shocked that I don't have the same feel. 
what I'll be that, shocked. What does that feel? How good can this defense be? Yeah, you know, we'll see. It's it's all it's all in the preparation right now. We'll see. But right now is they've not backed away from anything we've asked them to do. Not one thing. Are Peppers and Pryor competing for the same role, or are they two distinctive roles? Are... You know, right now, as we play with multiple safeties, I think you've seen us out there, and, and I've done that for, gosh, almost 20 years in the league now, and other people are copying that, and they're playing similar, but I, I'm not saying the same. And what we'll do is, is that we'll get as many good players in packages as needed. You know, if, if it means only playing one linebacker, I'll play one linebacker. You know, and I think wherever I've been, we've played with lots of DBs before because the league has become a one-back throwing league. And, <laughs> excuse me, wherever I've been, people really don't want to get lined up in two-back offenses and try to run it against us because of how we'll load up on you and, and outnumber you that way. So you got to get bigger if they're bigger. you got to get littler if they're littler, and you still got to be fast. But... They'll, they'll be playing similar things, but there's nothing clear cut yet. Nothing clear cut. They could both be on the field together? Yeah, could be. We'll see. Hey, Greg, yeah. when uh, we talked to Joe Hinn, he was very specific about how you got his attention. <laughs> Saying, you know, like he, he said that you said, hey, if you didn't play through that injury, you'd have been out of here. So, what, what is. Uh... Here's what I'll tell you, okay? This is cut to the chase. <laughs> I'm selling football. If you don't get people to listen to you, you're not going to sell anything, okay? If you don't get people to think that you guys know what you're talking about when you write your articles, they're not going to read it. So I'm selling. I think I got his attention, okay? And that's all it is. And there's lots of ways to go pat you on the back or, okay? It, 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 that, that hasn't worked here, okay? So <laughs> why, why, why would we be surprised that all of a sudden we got to do something different and my job is listen to this is to affect change if you can't affect change then you got to go someplace else you got to do something else so he has been extremely focused i don't care how he did it he's you should see how hard he's worked in the weight room that's his idea it's not my idea that's great even before you came out here in the ota portion of the season you said Somebody, this is the happiest you've been in your career. Why is that? Is that football, professional, or personal? I like living here too. Everybody, you know, every day's an interview. You to me, me to you, every day, Tony. And the people I've met here in Cleveland have just been very similar to personality, very similar to, you know, uh, welcoming, and also have that tough edge and workman's workman's edge about them. I love that aspect of it. I like the general Midwest. I've been all over the country. But then I really like this head coach. I like how there's so many things that he's ahead of on some of the other places I've been. And he's doing a good job with that. And then I really like the fact that he allowed me to bring some coaches. and. If I'm going to work 20 hours a day with people I don't like being around, it's tough. And understand that happens in any walk of life. So it's, it's a real good environment here. We need to now take the next step. The next step is obviously we're not here for intramurals. We're here to win. And uh, we've got to continue to get good players, coach them right, let them play. And these guys have done unbelievable. There, there's been all kinds of volunteer type stuff where I pitch things out to see if they want to do it. I haven't had one single solitary guy not go above and beyond the extra to have a chance to be good. There's lots of ways you could cut corners and short change and be the last one in the building and the first one out of the building. None of these guys are that way. It's it's a, it's been amazing. So I'm smiling about that inside. Part of that too, the potential for making a change here is so great. I mean, I think so. You're inheriting. I think so. 31st. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that with me, but I I've done that a lot of places. I've gone in other places and done that. No, no. It's just uh, and again too. 
a lot of these guys, I really, you know, I, I had them slot. I still have all my old books, all my old rankings on these guys. And if I liked them and was trying to get them at other places and draft them or sign them other places, why wouldn't I still like them? You know, I see some worse habits, but sometimes, you know, I can help correct habits. We'll see. And they're, they're doing very well. I, I, and I'm serious about that. They're doing very well. And the proof's in the pudding. We got to go play. Do you see McCourty as a cornerback? Or a yeah, he can play both. And, and I'm glad you asked that. Everybody on our defense, and, and I want you to watch this, has to play two positions. And I, I think Bill, I call him Bill, he's a good friend of mine, Belichick, <laughs> is that, uh, is, uh, I think he, he does a really good job of that. And he and I, a long time ago, started doing this a lot. And how you get through games, through injuries, is play the next best athlete, not the next guy on the depth chart. So what we do is all of our linemen have to play two positions. All of our backers have to play two positions, all of our safeties, all of our corners. So Jason can do that. And I knew that and had a chance to be with him in 2013. And not only can he do that, he's a sharp dude now. And, and he has good leadership in his heart. So he fits in well. Were you what surprised you? That, uh, that Jamie Collins was able to get the ball into no. the net today? And what kind of an attitude no. you have? No, 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 I, I'm not. And, and and again, you all really don't get a chance to see how really good he is at lots of things. And the other thing is he's going to be mad because I'm telling you this. But that's OK. <laughs> I don't think you worry about me pissing people off. It don't bother me, OK? Is that he is very intelligent. Now you, he, he's not going to talk to you, okay? And every day is an interview with trust there also. He's a very, he was a high school quarterback and really would like to have played quarterback in college and played free, he, he's begging me to play free safety, you know, and, and I'm not saying he couldn't be the best one out there right now. He, if he wants to play defensive end, he can play defensive end. There's lots of things about his versatility that it's going to be fun and challenging to find spots for to cut him loose and let him go. But, you know, all the things that you see, no communication. I can't shut him up now. He's in the meetings and he acts and he talks and he da 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 da, -da and, and he loves the banter of competition. Everybody in the building's shocked about that. I'm not, okay, I'm not. All right, you guys have a good summer, and uh, I'll be around here all summer long anyway, but I got that big foundation for kids, so I'm gonna go spin there on, I think it's July 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th, and I gotta come back to training camp to rest, so I'll see you. <laughs> okay.